guys so i don't really know where to start this vlog off um i've been gone for a long time and i honestly just kind of stopped uploading videos but i have a pretty good explanation for it i mean i shouldn't really have any excuses but this is quite a good one um i've just been discharged from a psychiatric hospital there's my dog um <laughs> Yeah, I was not in there for long, but there was a lot of events leading up to me getting put in there that, you know, I just wasn't in the right state of mind to sit down and film a video. I didn't even have the energy or anything like that. So, I'm back now. I'm so happy to have been discharged because it's absolutely terrifying in there. And I think I'm going to make like a whole like sit down video about it because, hmm. Let me tell you, it was not very fun in there and I like a mess. I'm sorry, that's why I have sunglasses on and... I have a can of vine, like a stack of can of vine brews over there, so I'm just ignore that. My life is like, why, why should like my room be clean if like my life is a mess? But anyway, yeah. So I was discharged. I have a meeting on Tuesday. It's right now. It is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So you guys can come to that. I mean, I can't take you in to the actual meeting, but I'll show you like um, the hospital and everything. Yeah, obviously I won't show any patients or anything like that because that's, you know, I was getting in a lot of trouble if I did that, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm really happy that I've been discharged. Like I said, it was so scary in there. I can't, oh, it's really not a place for me. It really isn't. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I have an orange tongue. I've been drinking I'm blue. But anyway, Ugh. oh, this lighting's bad. Yeah, so that looks so gross. As I was saying, I got out of the, I got out of the ward yesterday, um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna make a whole like sit down video about it because it's really an intense like situation. Yeah, it really was mad in there. Um, I'm not saying that to be disrespectful. I genuinely mean, like, it can really traumatise you. And I mean that with, like, you know, everything I have. You see, like, um, this person. I'm not going to say any names or any personal information like that because, obviously, you know, I wouldn't do that even if I could. Um, obviously, that's really illegal. But anyway, you know, she, like, had slit her throat right in front of me. Then. This other person tied shoelaces around their neck. I saw people getting dragged away and restrained and sc I was screaming and alarms. And obviously I know what the alarms were for, so it just made it so much more worse. And yeah, it's such a really intense situation and I'm glad I wasn't there for that long. But yeah, I think I'm going to do an outfit of the day, but like it's not really interesting. Yeah, this is my little joggers. This is my t-shirt. And I have these little hoop earrings in. Um, Oh my god, that looks so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, so this vlog is pretty boring, but I did want to just, you can just tell, like, how white my arm is, and, like, compared to everything else. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to, like, come back and, like, can I explain what's been happening and why I've not, like, been speaking and, you know, been making videos and, and whatnot. And I think that, that video will be really long, so it will need a bit of, like, editing and know a bit of effort put into it but you know it's got this little video to keep us going <laughs> it's not very interesting but you know it's better than nothing but as you can tell I'm so much more happier and yeah so you know what I realized my body's going like so weird it like kind of carves like this Um, I'm not too sure if I like it Don't get me wrong, you know, I'm confident in my body, but it is very weird. Like how it just goes like this. Mm. Yeah. I have lost a lot of weight, so <laughs> that's made me more confident. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bored. Right, this is a story. <laughs> I'm just going to be like telling so many stories in this, but... 
yesterday um, I came home from the um, psychiatric hospital and I found out that one of my neighbours house got broken into and a lot of the a lot of the rest of them like mine was the only one that didn't so I don't know if it was because we have a sign on the door that says like beware of the German Shepherd and like he barks a lot when people are in the gloves so I don't know or maybe they just like didn't give a shit but <laughs> yeah there's some like info for you Is it going to be? 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 Oh baby you're so cute! Oh. Wanna fight? Do you want to fight? You're going to bite me? 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 Buzzy, you're absolutely stunning. Do you know that? You don't give a shit. Look at beautiful you are. So, obviously, all I've been talking about in this vlog is how I was in a psychiatric hospital for the past couple of days um, and while I was there I actually wrote a diary um, so I thought I would like write a couple of things in it I'd like to read you a couple of things I wrote uh, this was May the 24th at 20 past 11 that night the first night I was there I didn't go to sleep until like 4 in the morning because I was so like anxious and had so much anxiety because obviously I was in like this new place and it's like you know it's not just like any normal hospital to be in or anything like that any hospital is nerve-wracking uh, I wrote a dear diary <laughs> my mum my mum brought me a diary so that's good I've been admitted to Sky House which is a psychiatric hospital I hate it here, don't get me wrong, the patients are so lovely and it's really chill and most staff are nice. I say most because this one, <laughs> this is about to get really like intense. You can tell I was like messed up. This, this one fucking ugly, vindictive, depressing, narcissistic <laughs> Holy shit, I don't even know where to start. Ah. I feel like she makes the patients worse, she really shouldn't be working here. My mum is putting in a complaint, let me tell you why. Can I just say that this woman actually turned out to be like quite nice? I don't... So... <laughs> um, from the first day I don't think she really liked me. I got sectioned yesterday. She just kept growling and shit but I gave her the benefit of the doubt. Sorry I'm looking down and reading. Um, can I quickly just say how she walks about face tripping her all day? No, that is true, She's, she, she does do that. Oh, I fucking hate her. <laughs> anyway, I had smoked in my room, and yes, that is wrong, but the way her tone of voice was was just so cheeky. She even was cheeky to my mum today. I can't even, the thought makes me so angry. I smoked again, again, I'm no victim, it was wrong. But she burst in the room, literally shouting her head off. This was, this, this fucking terrified me. Sorry, my camera died there. Fuck. <laughs> Um, yeah, I politely said, where are you shouting? And I did. Like, she was sitting screaming, being like, you can't fucking smoke in here. And I was like, why are you shouting? Like, I was like <laughs> And she just started, kept shouting even more. So I just kept saying, okay, okay, okay. Um, this really pissed me off. The, this really pissed me off the most. She said, our patients are sick, in quotation marks. And I was thinking, okay, well, if I'm not your patient, and if I'm not sick, why am I here? Like, get to <laughs> have ruined get to fuck you vile cow so <laughs> i was really angry i wrote in my notes that rude people make me self-harm so i found a razor and i the, 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 whatever and i've just self-harmed and i blame it on her you you didn't have to do that so like i thought she was here to make people better not worse Woo. um not worse i also asked for nicotine gum and i said to a different nurse, can I please have some? And she butted in and said, you need a doctor's prescription. And I actually found out that I'd already been prescribed this, so, I mean, she was really, like, annoyed at me. Ah, so I said, okay, and my mum went up, and um, why can't she have some? Because blank, a different nurse, gave her, a, gave her a bit yesterday. 
I swear to God, man. Anyway, I made some new friends. One tried to kill herself today. She has scars all over her neck. I feel so bad for her. She's so nice and doesn't deserve this. This is me the 25th. Dear Daddy, today's been a lot better. I got told by the doctor I could go out an hour today, two hours tomorrow and three hours on Sunday. So I'm going home to see Buddy on Sunday. I feel a lot better. It was nice to have a fag and chill out. A fag is a cigarette. <laughs> and chill out the park with my mum. Uh, blank is coming up at seven, so God knows how that's going to go. Blank and Blank are coming with her. I also have my speakers when I'm playing music. Haha. <laughs> I'm trying to do as much as I... No, I'm trying to do as I'm told though, so I can get out earlier. I self-harmed last night, but my mum said she won't tell, and I'm glad because I won't do it again. I just slipped up. Today's been good, and that's all I can say really. Ah, I'm so happy. I get a McDonald's tomorrow. <laughs> I, yeah, I did get that McDonald's. I saw that I was getting my phone, and a guy came to check on me, so I started writing. Yeah, you're not supposed to have your phone, and I did. So, yeah. So obviously the first day was really bad, the second day was really bad, but all around it wasn't that bad in there, you know. It's nothing like they portray in the movies, it's like the people in there are really nice, they're just ill, you know what I mean, it's just like a hospital. You're not like locked up in a room with like padded cells and all that, it's nothing like that. That's what I thought a uh, psychiatric hospital was going to be like, but it's really not. This is... May the 25th at 10 past 9 at night. Sorry for the random colour change, the green pen was running out. Anyway, I don't know why, but like, I'm sad again, question mark. I'm not going to do anything to myself, of course, but like, I was fine earlier. I'm listening to sad songs and I just feel so down. Blank, blank and blank came and it was actually fine. She brought me so much stuff and she even brought me a vapour that looks like it cost quite a lot of money. Why do I feel sad? I have no reason. I mean... Anyone would feel sad in this place, but like, I don't know, maybe it's just a passing wave because I miss my mum. I just need to think positive. She comes at half one tomorrow and we get to go out for two hours. We're going to McDonald's, so I just need to think of that. Look how terrible my handwriting is. I can hardly even read my own writing. 26th of May at 25 past nine in the morning. Don't know what I was doing up at that time. I just woke up so I'm just starting this off. I'm still quite tired but I feel a bit, a uh, lot better than last night. I don't know what, what what the fuck happened there. So yeah, I'm just listening to Post Malone and chilling. There is a spider on me. <laughs> hey, it's a little bit later. The day has been good. It must be about 1am. 1, 1 yeah, see I don't sleep. <laughs> I've been allowed out in the garden to have my vape which makes me happy. Don't get me wrong. When blank's back, that'll probably change. Anyway, me, blank, 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 and blank were out on the trampoline and blank started shouting about dildos. <laughs> I was like, fuck me, man. No pun intended. <laughs> blank is really nice. He cleaned my room twice because my nose kept bleeding, haha. <laughs> he, he also was talking about pure interest and shit like conspiracies and that. Sam, Leah, Chloe and Kimberly came up. It was good. I got let out for a fag twice with her. That's my auntie and my best friend, by the way, and my cousin and mother friend. Uh, she kept crying though. I was like, Sam, oh my God, it's okay. We so, I love her so much. Oh my God, and Blank slaps her mum. Me and mum went to McDonald's for my two hour leave and she wasn't even walking beside them. She's been in here a year and a half. That's one of the other patients I'm talking about. Obviously I will not say names. I wrote anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. Sun Saturday the 26th of May, 1am. Yeah, but today's been good and I can't get out, get can't get over how excited I am for seeing my gran and buddy tomorrow. Yahoo! Buddy's my dog. Insert pure buzzing emojis. <coughs> I like it here. Confused face. Weird. I feel sick and I'm having a lot of anxiety right now, but I'm not going to let it ruin my happiness. It can fuck right off. I'm happy and I'm seeing it. From the second I got in here, I refused to let myself be in that horrible, dark place again. Catch her, and I signed it. Yeah, that was quite a short entry. Oh, this one's really sad. This one broke my heart. Oh, I'm not going to say any names though. Sunday the 27th of May. I'm so drained and don't even have the energy to write this, but I really feel I should. This was 4 o'clock in the morning I wrote this. I'm so heartbroken. I'm so heartbroken and sad for blank. We were all in the day room and I done 
Blank's makeup. Like everything was chill, but then Blank left and she always has a nurse following her. Me, Blank and Blank went out and she was trying to take bubble wrap into her room, but nurses were taking it off of her. We kind of ignored it and went back in the day room. And me and Blank were taking, talking about deep shit. Then we just heard the screaming and we looked out the window and Blank was being dragged to her room. Fucking, I'm so disgusted in a way. I was disgusted in a way because like, I just, I don't know, seeing people being restrained and all that just, it makes you feel sick. She was still screaming in her room, then a nurse pure bolted down the corridor and got wire cutters. She tied shoelaces around her neck. It makes me sad because she was happily playing Xbox a few... Happily playing Xbox a few hours before with me and Blank. Anyway, while it was happening, Blank was telling me about when he got the medicine and Blank and they were saying how horrible it was and I had a panic attack. It was so scared. I, I, no, I was so scared and I wrote down my symptoms. Tingly hands, weird vision, lightheaded, crying, heart palpitations and feeling detached. The nurse was trying to give me medicine that's like Valium. And I was like, fuck no, the actual one. I was like, get it. I was like, no way am I taking that. Oh, at least I went home today, which was good. I played Xbox and Buddy was so, so happy to see me. We saw. That's that's me anyway. I'm too drained to keep writing. Having a mini panic attack again, but I'm too tired to care. Monday the 28th of May. Dear Diary, today I went home and saw Gran. I also went out with Jessica for a little bit. Blank, I feel so sorry for her. No one likes Blank and she was doing Blank's observations. She kicked off and was screaming and started hitting one of the nurses and calling her a cow and saying she hates her. She got restrained and carried twice. They strapped her to a blue chair and injected her with medicine. I really like Blank, but he likes fucking Blank. <laughs> I don't even like that guy, but he, you get like so like dick deprived in there that you just like think you like them and you really don't. Maybe I'm just dick deprived. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Tomorrow I'm going to get my nails done. I didn't get my nails done. And get something to eat. Oh, and Gran wants being cure. So yeah, I'm going to read my book. Bye. I also had a panic attack again. Yeah, I had so many panic attacks while I was in there. It was unbelievable. Dear Diary, it's ten past eleven and I'm so bored. Everyone's at school and I'm just chilling. Blank took me for my vape. So yeah, my diary entries ended there with me saying that one of the nurses is hot. I didn't write sometimes when I was in there, so it is unfortunate, but I do have some that I can look back on. I'm just double checking, there's not like any more. There's my diary entries from my psychiatric hospital. Hello. My psychiatric hospital stay. I can't, well, I don't really feel excited to make, you know, the, um, I don't, I don't feel excited to make the psychiatric hospital video. Like, obviously everything that happened in, in detail and this is just kind of skimming through it and updating you on where I've been. But, um... I do, I do want to make it a lot because, you know, not not just for me, like, to look back on and be like, how, see how far I've came, but for other people, just, you know, if you're in a psychiatric hospital or if you're going, if you're being admitted to one, just to let you know that, like, it's not bad at all. Well, definitely not the one I went to, it wasn't bad at all. So if you're going to Sky House, then they're amazing. Anyway guys, that's the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was kind of short, but this is just kind of an update on filling in and where I've been. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, like and comment. And yeah, let's all hate on blank. No, I'm kidding. Don't hate on her. She's actually a nice person. I was just smoking a medium, which I shouldn't have been doing.